This all as airports across the country expect to see three times the amount of travelers, with this evening expected to be one of the busiest travel times. Another live look at the tarmac at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, one of the world's busiest airports. Paolo Suro joins us now live with the latest on what times and conditions are like there. Paolo, we've seen some big lines already, but there's going to be more momentum as we get deeper into the weekend. Oh yeah, long lines and they keep growing. You know, an airport spokesperson tells me this will be the busiest travel weekend since Christmas of 2019 and it's certainly looking like that. So much so here we're like at the entrance of the security line. They've actually had to extend the line uh, further away from that area so that we could continue. You can see there further extension of that line so that we could try and get everyone through security. The good news, we've got live music out here. Um, the other good news, I checked the monitors when I got here and it seems like every flight is on time and uh, not delayed, not delayed. So that's the good news. But you know, here at Hartsfield Jackson, they expect 1.5 million passengers to fly from this past Wednesday until Monday, with today being the busiest day. They're expecting 250,000 passengers to fly today with that same amount on Monday. But you know, compared to pre-pandemic numbers on an average day, we'd see about 300,000 passengers on a day like today. So we're still seeing fewer numbers than before COVID-19. Now here's one tip spokesperson and Andrew Gobiel says could help speed things up when you come to the airport. To check your carry-on baggage. Weapons numbers at ATL are incredibly high. So we want to make sure that, you know, people do not mistakenly leave a weapon in their carry-on because one, it's going to tie up the, the line. Two, you could face a substantial fine. And three, you could go to jail. But again, you can see how long the security line is. It's really an extension from where you'd normally go when you get here to the airport at that security line. But another tip that they recommend is that you get here two hours before your flight, not getting in your car here. No, at the airport two hours before your departure time. All right. You know, it's interesting, Paula. I think for a lot of people, this might be the first big trip maybe before, you know, since the pandemic's been unfolding. So good to see everybody, you know, in good spirits. And, and I like the music too. Thanks so much.